Tokyo Electric Power Company officials say emergency venting procedures may have failed to activate at one nuclear reactor following the March 2011 disaster. The utility has been investigating the Fukushima Daiichi plant to prepare for its decommissioning. Engineers say they did not find high levels of radiation in piping connected to a device called a rupture disc. Water vapor and radioactive materials should have passed through the disc during venting. TEPCO officials say they will continue to investigate how the radioactive release occurred at the number two reactor. We will continue on-site investigations and simulation analysis. We will also analyze the details of the situation after the accident. Crews attempted to vent the containment vessel to release water vapor and radioactive materials. Pressure inside the vessel did not drop in four days after the accident. The reactor was damaged. Investigators believe this caused the release of a massive amount of radioactive materials. They say this is why most plant workers were forced to temporarily evacuate. All right, this next video is just the perfect amount of stupid. In fact, it's like the stupid that the internet was founded on. And people working to decontaminate communities near Fukushima Daiichi have reached a milestone. They've started to clean up the last of 11 municipalities to undergo decontamination. What difference at this point does it make? The work in the town of Futaba will cover about 4% of the community. That's about 200 hectares, where radioactive levels are relatively low. It includes residential areas and farmland. The work has been delayed as negotiations continued over how to rebuild the town. Contractors have begun to cut grass and remove dirt from ditches. The work in the other 10 municipalities has ended or is underway. The cleanup in Futaba is scheduled to be completed by next March. We hope to move forward in the next step for reconstruction by finishing the decontamination work as soon as possible. 96% of Futaba is still designated as a no-entry zone. Town officials are asking for that part to be decontaminated as well, but no decision has been made yet. Stupid is not a big enough word to describe what you've done here. Stupid, stupid, stupid. All right, this next video is just the perfect amount of stupid. In fact, it's like the stupid that the Internet was founded on. A nuclear power plant in western Japan is a step closer to going back online. Regulators say safety measures for a reactor at the facility meets the government's new requirements. The plant is the third in Japan to clear this hurdle. Officials at the Nuclear Regulation Authority have been taking a look at the Ikata plant in Ehime Prefecture. They unanimously approved a draft assessment for the number three reactor. And they say the facility meets regulations introduced after the crisis at Fukushima Daiichi four years ago. All of Japan's nuclear reactors are currently offline. Now, officials say the operator of the Ikata plant has taken measures to ensure it can withstand earthquakes and other emergencies. And they say Shikoku Electric Power Company has effective plans to play in place to prevent meltdowns and severe accidents. We had intense discussions that led to this draft assessment. We will continue to proceed with our evaluation of the reactor. Regulators haven't formally approved the assessment yet. They will first solicit comments from the public for a period of 30 days. And officials at Shikoku Electric still need to get approval on equipment design and pass a series of inspections. Municipal leaders must also give their consent, and that means a restart is unlikely before the end of December. The operator of a nuclear plant in Western Japan is closer to being able to fire up the facility again. Regulators say safety measures for one reactor meet the latest standards. The plant is the third in the country to clear this hurdle.
Officials at the Nuclear Regulation Authority have been taking a look at the Ikata plant in Ehime Prefecture. They unanimously approved a draft assessment for the number three reactor. They say the facility meets regulations introduced after the crisis at Fukushima Daiichi four years ago. All of Japan's nuclear reactors are currently offline. Officials say the operator of the Ikata plant has taken measures to ensure it can withstand earthquakes and other emergencies. And they say Shikoku Electric Power Company has effective plans in place to prevent meltdowns in severe accidents. We had intense discussions that led to this draft assessment. We will continue to proceed with our evaluation of the reactor. Regulators haven't formally approved the assessment yet. They'll first solicit comments from the public for a period of 30 days. And officials at Shikoku Electric still need to get approval on equipment design and pass a series of inspections. Municipal leaders must also give their consent. That means a restart is unlikely before the end of this year. Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe wants to make it easier for food products from his country to be imported into Taiwan. And he's asked ruling party lawmakers to get involved. Taiwanese officials tightened controls last Friday due to fears of radiation from the 2011 nuclear accident in Fukushima Prefecture. The new regulations include mandatory certificates of origin for food products from anywhere in Japan. Abe has spoken with former State Minister for Foreign Affairs Nobuo Kishi and other lawmakers who belong to a group that promotes relations with Taiwan. Kishi reported to the Prime Minister that during a recent visit to Taiwan, they asked President Ma ying to lift the tighter restrictions as soon as possible. Abe said the authorities and general population of Taiwan should be made aware of the safety of Japanese food. He urged Kishi utilize the group's close connections with Taiwan to address the issue. Stupid is not a big enough word to describe what you've done here. Stupid, stupid, stupid. As you look back over this whole thing, what's your biggest regret? Ever letting it happen. I should have stopped it from the very beginning as soon as the flirting started, but I didn't. I, I want to close this by giving you my opinion and assessment of what happened. Stupid is not a big enough word to describe what you've done here. 